Hello, this is a video for Edexcel Statistics 1. It's the third in the series and will focus on the properties of the Poisson distribution. One of the properties of the Poisson distribution is that the mean number of events is in proportion to the size of the interval. We can exploit this fact to extend our model to wider or narrower intervals than we started with. Take this for example. Here we have a number of faults in one metre of cloth and we know that it's Poisson distributed with a mean of 0.4. So I could define that to be x and 0.4. Now that we know this fact, however, we could extend our model to different lengths of cloth. So if we wanted to know how many floors there were in a 3 metre length of cloth, we would multiply our mean by 3. And similarly, if I wanted to find how many floors in a half metre of cloth, I could just divide by two. So I can define each of the distributions as follows. Notice that I've used different letters for each one because X is the number of floors in one metre, Y is the number of floors in three metres, and W is the number of floors in half a metre length of cloth. Once you've defined the dif distributions like this, we simply calculate probabilities as before. Here is another example. Cars travel along a road at a constant average rate of 6 a minute. Find the probability that in a 10 minute period there are less than 4 cars. So here we need to define the number of cars appearing in a 10 minute period given that we know how many it is in a single minute. So assuming that all the conditions of the Poisson distribution are met, we can multiply that constant average rate from 1 minute by 10 and get a mean of 6 for every 10 minute period. Once we've got that, we can then just calculate our probability as before. So here I've done it using GeoGebra to get a value of 0.151 to 3 significant figures. Another feature of Poisson distributions that we're going to look at here is the addition of, Poiss of the Poisson distributions. As it says here, if two independent distributions x and y have Poisson distributions, then the distribution of their sum will also be just Poisson, with the parameter being their combined means. Here is an example of how this works. So if I want to find the probability of x plus y equal to 3, given that x comes from a Poisson distribution of, with a mean of 1.2 and y has a Poisson distribution of 0.7, then I can combine this into a single distribution where, because they're independent, because they were both Poisson to begin with, it must be Poisson distributed. And then I can just simply add the two means together to give myself 1.9 and calculate the probability of this being equal to 3 using the formula as before. So here you see I've called w equal to x plus y, so I'm finding the probability w is equal to 3 using the formula, which is 0 0.171. If you wanted to check this using the other laws of probability, then what you would need to do is consider all the possible ways that a value from x plus a value from y um, equals 3. So there's a few different ways of doing this. You would obviously could have 0 for x and 3 for y. You could have 1 for x and 2 for y. You could have 2 for x and 1 for y and you can have 3 for x and 0 for y and you would work out each of these probabilities so the probability x is equal to 0 times the probability x at y is equal to 3 and so on and so on and then you'd add all of these four up okay and if you do that you will get exactly the same answer 0 0.171 that's the end of this video the next video in this series is looking at the mean and variance of the Poisson distribution